So you showed Melissa and then you went to Reddit and you wrote a post about it? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't tell Melissa till after I went to Reddit, but I posted it on my TikTok and then I posted it on Reddit because there was uh, the FK uh, username person who I kind of found out was like, you know, she was uh, playing both sides of the fence, if you will. And I could kind of tell by what some of her DMs with me were like. And I also posted those on my TikTok um, just because it was like, okay, this person told me about this Stephanie Morales person and, you know, all these people about uh, her scamming people and the Bible girl or the Bible podcast girl, which I don't know if anything that she told me was was accurate. I mean, she had me believing that Ari was Melissa. So I would firstly say that you should probably like look into these things before you go with them. I'm, I'm sure you're learning as you go, but that's why I always say I listen to everybody's side and then um, I form my opinion based on what the facts are on the case and what both sides are actually saying. So I try to listen to everything. So I've, I've spent plenty of time talking to Allie. I assure you she meant no harm. I get what everybody was saying about it, but if they had a letter finish, she would have, it was, she was started that way and then started making little triangles. She didn't look at it like that. She already said that um, the girl is definitely going through it. I'm not trying to defend her in any way of um, besides the fact that she went through the trial. She saw everything and heard everything she had to hear when she heard the actual what happened to Diane and Christine. And she watched um, his facial expressions when the, when these were being talked about. And she realized that he actually was getting a rise out of these things that were being discussed that were disgusting she uh walked away and never went back never would did she call him again never did she support him again she didn't answer any calls she blocked him and called it a day um so i feel that like like we're gonna do more we're gonna do a U uh, youtube um interview with her because i want her to portray the information that most people didn't get to hear or see and Mel was there as well. So she's there to support and back up because she was there. She witnessed that same thing and she was watching her. So they, there's a lot more to the story. But like, I just also feel bad for Ellie because she's just trying to live her life. She's not even trying to talk about Wade. She's not trying to do anything about it. She doesn't even listen to the calls. When I ask her, I'm like, ooh, that call must have really sucked because they were talking about you. And she's like, I, I don't w listen to those calls, honestly. Like, I just can't. Um, I would just try to remove myself from the situation and not be a part of it um, because it's mentally affecting her because she already knows she fucked up. She's already just tried to move on. She's apologized to the people that she needs to and said, hey, you know, I knew him prior. She's the only she knew him before. She, like she's physically seen him prior to him being locked up for these crimes. She lived in the same area. She went to the same bar. She hung out with the same people. So she already knew like Mila and her crew and all these people that were inv involved. So it was a, a lot deeper of a story, which I can't wait for her to share that so you guys can have a better understanding because I feel like a lot of people judge her as just being a kiosk girl when in fact she has more to share. And then kind of weird that like, you know, that's why I guess there was a lot more negative heat back because you were kind of like being supporting him for the first whatever six days or whatever. And then yeah. you're you, like to come out on a Reddit thread those people going hard, they're going to look either way and find more information and well, bring it how, forward too. how I got it banned. Um, was oh, you got I put, it banned? Yeah, because I put it, um, I bought a Louis Vuitton purse and I had posted, this was like a two, two year old purse. And I had posted um, the picture of it with my name and the address I lived at at the current time. And people were reposting that address and boom, my plan was executed wisely. So you went in there setting up Reddit. Yeah, I was I was sick of their sh uh, stuff. Like, I mean, they, they talk crap on you. They talk like about every single person. And I mean, they want to call me a roach and a, a Wade wife. And it was like, um, you know, I I don't listen, honestly, to any of the calls. Um, well, I know good. Charlie can back it up. I mean, if my calls get posted, I mean, I was the first one that had told people about how I was disgusted with him in the fact that he was going to disembowel me and hang me by my entrails. I, the poop talk was already started back then. 
He and told nobody you that? believed yes, nobody believed anything I said about that. And they thought, oh no, I was lying about it and I wasn't. So that would be the only interesting thing that I can remember in those calls. Was they it were like a very sexy gone. talk or he was like literally no, aggressive about it? It was it was not. It was it was like God, this man's sick. Um but yeah. So how um, did you know that it was you that got them banned? Did that like I can I can send you a screenshot or some uh, somehow. Um, I'm if glad you just said that on my live because uh, they're literally saying that it's me and my mods, and I'm like, listen, I'm not mad by it because no, I have going shit was, on everybody. Some, eventually, is going to come back to you. Um, I, I mean, I'm not, I don't care if people talk about me. I know it's going to happen, but I just wish that they would uh, not talk about my kids or like like be factual don't just over here like her fucking teeth her fucking nails are disgusting she looks like a orthodontic vampire like come up with something that's like legit not just some bullshit but when you pick on every single person and then you want to be like it's coral and her mods like y'all really shit on everybody and then want to blame us like i assure you i don't even go to reddit okay i don't even care enough to do that i don't have enough time in my day to like do that shit so but i didn't know that full detail because i don't go to reddit so I didn't really know. I know Charlie had talked to me um, about a little bit of things, but like I didn't know that it was yours that actually got them banned. Yeah, just just so every there's a lot of people in here asking like who is this? Who is this? Um, this is Sarah. She was a part of the official Team Wade group for like six days. Um, so she in the way beginning in the way beginning when it was created with Marion, Kristen. Sarah was involved in that, and um, I don't believe she had communication with Jesse at that time, so it was just her, uh, Marianne, and Kristen. Um, well, so I, was, I wouldn't say I was involved in it. I had I was a part of a text message group thread that this was way before Team Wade was established, but I still have those two phone numbers where they were group texting me. This is when um, they had told me that they were, you know, establishing a petition that they had um, an advocate uh, company or something like that in Florida that advocates against the death penalty people. And I mean, I had blocked both of them a long time ago, but the um, I don't know who Kristen Jaquez is, but she goes by Southern Gal on TikTok. But she messaged me from the very beginning talking about how she has her request pending. She sent $50 and all this other stuff. But as far as like the Reddit group, I wanted to circle back to that because I just got another direct message that popped in my little banner um, that said that um, it was because of it, people doxing me on my personal information and one of the messages came from a former um i don't know if you want to call it former or current admin of mm -hmm. that um of that reddit page but i i've gotten now three different people that have said it to me well, well i mean i can't believe that you kind of went in with a strategy and was able to execute based on strategy smart thinking but holy crap and I, I don't think they're doing it i don't really care i don't care like i just want to put it out there because i know i got reddit people up in here i do have some people that on the reddit rebels that are actually awesome they actually post factual information and bring me factual information um mm -hmm. so I, I respect you guys for actually being true sleuths and i feel like reddit got away um in this little group of um what their intentions are and what you're supposed to be doing when it comes to true crime and they started getting more like attacky on people just because they didn't like their opinions which is fine you can not like our opinions, but you could be respectful about it, too. I thought that was weird. Um, but they did come really hard for a lot of people. I saw that they... I did see that screenshot from Charlie where they had deleted your post and then kind of went hard about you. And I was just like, well, dang. Yeah, she she had let me know that um, they were, they were uh, talking bad. And I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> Darn, oh, no, a bunch of Reddit webbles so after me. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Like live my life? I, I honestly don't didn't care about that. But um, I know Jill. I had I'm trying to write down different things as I'm talking um, that I had read. I will take down the alley post because no, like I had only screenshot those. Uh, it was live, so I only had screenshot those uh, very beginning stages. I did not finish the video because I, like I said, didn't find it um, something I wanted to watch her do, considering I thought it depicted Wade. But um, 
yeah then uh can, can the I just emma thing me? the emma thing where um mm -hmm. i was it, i have all of the whatsapp conversations between her and i and most of them were voice like talk to text if you will i have all of that saved and um I'm debating whether or not posting it because I, I haven't talked to Emma since my, I don't know, a couple of days after my last live. But um, that was discussed prior to me going live with her because we, uh, we were, well, she wanted to get more views. So there was nothing that was interesting. Every time I went on live with her, she would never talk. It, I felt like I was the only one talking and then Hannah would come on and I mean, Hannah lives wherever in England that it was like three o'clock in the morning for her. So she was like falling asleep. So it was only me talking and she did it for her, her idea was for content. Can, I can never re added him. Sarah, can I uh, just address a couple of things, um, if I may, mm -hmm. um, in regards to the alley situation? Um, so I'm just going to, since I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and lay out my personal opinion. Me and you have spoken before, so I just, you know, I, I respect like you as a person and things of that nature. But I do want to say that the, associ the association with like the skeleton mask. Okay, so I'm going to just take it back a little bit here because for me with my culture, um, I believe in Dia de los Muertos. And so every year I, we dress up and we wear sugar schools. You know what I mean? And that's just always been like tradition for me and my family and things of that nature. And I don't want Wade to ruin that. You know what I mean? And I, I like, I just feel like um, attacking Ali just for the makeup, even though it wasn't done, maybe it looked like skulls or skeleton or whatever. I just think it's just, you know, like, don't let's not associate that with Wade Wilson because he's an idiot. And, you know, granted, we all make mistakes and we all, you know, say certain things. I'm not defending Ali's actions and being associating with a thing here where you both supported him at one means. Um, so it's kind of like the, ke the pot calling the kettle black. Honestly, it's like, hey, you did this, mm -hmm. but not looking at, hey, I did this, too. So mm -hmm. when you're coming out and now you're saying it now, people are kind of understanding because I didn't know. Um, I don't really, there's so many people involved in this case that unless they come to me directly, I really don't know. Um, and so, like, I respect that you came. I respect that you said, hey, I'm no longer following this guy. I'm no longer associated. I learned that I, I shouldn't have listened to what this girl said on TikTok. So, like, even just saying that, hey, I didn't get factual information. I just looked at what this girl was saying and it made sense, mm -hmm. which any of us can portray that. You know, we could, we could flip a story any way we want and have people believe it. People will believe stuff. And I was saying, making a joke the other day and they're like coming to me on the side like, that's true. Like, no, I was just joking, guys. And like, I'm realizing that people literally take your literal words and they use it in a way that um, to twist it or to manipulate it or to make it factual when it's not. So mm -hmm. just want you to know. So because honestly, I'm sure you wouldn't want to live with yourself if something happened to this girl based on her, the amount of bullying she gets from that reaction. And that's the part that I'm, that's why I don't go to Reddit because I don't want to contribute to something that could potentially hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. I try to like, besides Jesse, you know, keep go F yourself girl. But um, honestly, <laughs> I, d I definitely just wanted you to think about it because the impacts <laughs> of what you said actually really, really hurt her um, on that level of that's too. not what she was trying to do and you didn't give her a chance. You, you told her to look at the camera and then took a picture. And so she was like, why would she tell me to do, I thought she was just, being a cool person, I didn't realize she was going to use that against me in a negative way. Mm -hmm. So I want you to know that too, that there's, you know, what do you, what do you mean? I, kind of like a, I didn't tell her to look at the camera. Oh, uh, well, maybe somebody I, well, else did that. that I, I didn't tell her. She thought, thought it was you. Yeah, yeah no. Also, it, too, I saw the Reddit oh, post okay. that Sarah was making as far as like Ali and the like calling the name calling and things of that nature. Like, you know, I don't condone that type of stuff personally, um, unless it's Jesse, because fuck you, Jesse. But, yep. you know, like okay. the name calling on Ali was just, you know, it wasn't necessary, Sarah. And personally, I feel like, you know, there's definitely an apology that's needed um, to Ali because she really, I mean, has she done anything to you personally for you to have reacted that way or? Um, like I said, like as i was going through tiktok and it popped up and it was like i can't believe that you know this person has said 
you know, that they're against him and, you know, that they want no, you know, any kind of um, any personal, you know, dealings with him. And then it's like you you're watching this and it's being painted on her face. And I'm just like, uh, are you serious? But see, that's um, you associating with the skeleton with Wade Wilson. And, and that's what I'm asking is like not to associate that with with him because it's it has no association with him and at all at all we've been doing that it, regardless of culture right people have been painting skeletons on their faces for years way before we wilson decided to get it when he was in prison it's been around and it's halloween season so to us and then what about the people this. that actually make okay reno and we got the meg and we got these other people that are painting them on and making jokes about the calls like that they're not getting those same energy from you on those um, and that and I, well, I, I don't know who those people are. Oh, because they I, have like never, huge platforms not, based on them putting the makeup on and, and reenacting the calls. But it it should be the same energy for everybody. But it's just the face that's bothering. But I I feel still like and I'm not trying. It's it's sure, like it's more I, like I mean that's between you guys because I don't know where the beef was. But people could equally point fingers. Um, you know about like you getting involved or like the thirst somebody just said in here that you still have thirst trap videos of wade on your profile um, i, I that's would true. not I say that the those are the videos that are the best that they work between us that's it they're not thirst trap at you're, all. you're breaking up sarah i also got it a warning was i know the, i saw you got a warning chris yeah <laughs> jesse's watching yeah oh, you, Jesse. watch. yeah <laughs> sorry it's saying that i have poor i it's poor it signal. keeps coming up across my screen like i mm -hmm. poor connection mm -hmm. yeah but um I would not scrap videos. They are they are simply pick screenshots of my messages of him and my messages. It's not thirst trapping. So but your stance now is he is guilty. Yes. Okay, and then what did you what did you see that based that opinion change for you? Um, well, when I had, I, when I went to work, um, I have my own business, but, um, I never watched the trials. I listened to them all. Um, because I, I'll be honest and just like every other person that attempted or did get connected with him, um, it was all, um, an appearance based, you know, reason, um, and I didn't want that to, you know, hinder how I, you know, heard everything and heard the information. But when I played the trials, like I just went to YouTube and there was, I think it was like CBS, they had for the first day, um, like it was like jury selection. And then they had, you know, day one. And I think that was a two part one or three part one. And then day two and three and, um, you know, then there was the sentencing and I listened to all of it. And then I went to the Lee County court, um, webpage and everything that wasn't, um, in a locked, you know, uh, folder, if you will, it was accessible to view. Um, I had read the depositions and, um, it was much different. Breaking up again. Sorry, um, I don't know what station it's on, but um, or if it was on in Kansas City, but um, my information basically was it was off of based off of TikTok that you know he was uh, he was set up and all this stuff, and there was you know all of the TikTok videos of the reasons how he got set up and um, you know. Uh, the amount of people that it, I think it was most Melissa that had so really, um you know, she Sarah, just want to tell you I got Allie's up in here in the box she wants to have a personal conversation respectfully if you won't mind if I bring her on so you guys can talk it out. Woo! Ooh. I'm gonna uh, restart my sure. TikTok because of that violation. I'll be right back, Coral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello? I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. 
Oh, yeah, I, I know my phone's breaking out bad. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Give me one second. I have a question. Hi. What can I do for you? Yeah, it's mine. Keeps saying that I, I have poor connection and switch to a different network, but it, I have I'm on 5G. I don't know why it keeps saying that. Yes, chocolate. Yeah, it's 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 sometimes it depends. It it sucks a lot of uh, power. Okay. So. So you're you're Sarah. Is this you're Sarah? Yes. Yeah, this is Sarah. So Sarah, let me just um, I have a question for you. Um, why why would you feel the need respectfully? Why would you feel the need to not only invade my privacy but put me in a category with somebody who clearly I don't generally like to put myself in a category with just because I was doing makeup for Halloween, which is a national holiday, like international holiday, or multiple people on this app, you know, are doing makeup. I mean, like, what what, what was the problem? Are you upset that, like, <laughs> you can't do makeup? Well, like, do you know, like, it, it, can I... Can I answer what, at least one of those questions? Um, one, it, I wasn't invading your privacy. It was on a live. Two, yeah, I took the screenshots life. in the beginning stages. So when you know you were taking a while to draw those marks, you know I found it to be odd that you know you were depicting, and I never finished the rest of it because it was. Oh, yeah. you know, you do what most I, do. I right contradictory <laughs> what you said that you were standing for and I understand that it made it into a pumpkin or whatever but um yeah, yeah it was uh, I guess part of it and walk a pretty know. judged but yeah a lot of people do that I, well I mean it, it showed up on you know when I was on my yeah, no, like for you page or whatever and I was scrolling through you took the initiative okay listen I, I appreciate that you, you know you you came to realization that I'm nothing like you assumed for me to be let me just say that respectfully but you still made the choice to screen record me without even knowing like you you, you chose to tip to tap into my shit and you chose to screen record me because you felt that it was going to to benefit you to embarrass me but yet it turned around onto you looking like the fool because not only were you like everybody else that has pushed judgment on me on on just based off of somebody that you do not know first of all and then you're going to base judgment off of what you think you know i sat in this courtroom sarah and i saw everything that you will never ever in your life would ever want to nor ever get to see and when i tell you that I stand on what I said. I went into this damn thing thinking that the love of my life was innocent. And I sat there and I watched every piece of evidence that they had against him. If they didn't even put all of it in there and you're going to tell me, or you're going to pass judgment on what he says when he has been shown to be a manipulator, a liar, a narcissist. And you're going to go off of when I left, I even showed shared messages because people like you like to come up in my shit and like to switch things around for your own personal gain. And this is my life. This is my reality. You don't live here. You're in Kansas. All right. I, we're not in Kansas, we're in Florida. Or wherever the fuck. Right? But still, wherever you're at, it's it's the point is is you still took you took the time out of your day. You 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 premeditated this if you want to get technical with legal terms, okay? You premeditatedly were gonna and try to embarrass somebody. And now I have to get brought out of my character respectfully, and I'm not saying half of what I wanted to say to somebody and now you're sorry because you got publicly humiliated. That doesn't mean you're sorry. That means you're doing what you want everybody else to do because you made a fool of yourself trying to tear down another woman when I don't deserve to be fucking torn down, number one. Yeah. And I'm pretty freaking strong for what the hell I had to sit through that you did not endure, okay? You didn't. Agreed. So it has judgment on me okay. or say anything about me when you were in a situation like me where you thought this was the case, so you just try to I embarrass didn't belong me to your man and and wow. No, no, like you I can said, keep I was scrolling through six years and I showed up on my TikTok. Listened enough to what you had said where you were you oh, really? totally against said, him so and then really? it was like, okay, me. sure I did finish but long no. I didn't what you're saying is making sense uh, to me. I feel like you're just bit. going to like post smoke up my ass. Yeah. You're such a narcissist. This is cool though, but I appreciate, you know, whatever you're doing. I can't, um, respectfully, I'm going to get off because I'm about to lose my shit. So 
Thank you. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah. Well, uh, like if everybody could I tell apologize. you too, I, I was saying the same exact thing. I just think that it was a double edge because she had reached out and was preaching that he was innocent too in the beginning. So that what doesn't make sense because you what? walked away after you, you got the know, evidence. No. And I did like, say that that you got literally crushed that you were associated when you were just trying to do uh, something. Well, Halloween this is where I never got to it. finish. Well, I never what? got to finish. Like I, I said I, before she even got on that I was going to delete it, but I never had the intention of embarrassing her. It was more or less like, okay, how, how is she going to go out and speak about it this way? And then, you know, go so in, you, you know, so you were a different and type of way about it. You on that shit and thought of Wade. You're the only one that came up in there and thought everybody else knew what I was doing because everybody else knows what's going on. You didn't. So you keep saying that you weren't trying to, you tried to embarrass me because you know you could and the opportunity was right then and there. You even had the nice little slogan for it. So what, please stop with the fucking excuses because you know what? The only reason you're even saying sorry right now, bro, is because you got called the fuck out. Cause you didn't come to me as a woman and be like, you know what, Allie, I apologize. I couldn't, I didn't you had me blocked. Yeah, I, what, on Reddit? Cause you had me blocked before cause I couldn't even comment no, on your stuff. No, it, no, no. Not you on know, Reddit. Not on it was on on TikTok, TikTok that I'm it was blocked. To you right now, if you were blocked, that doesn't even make sense. I don't even know what name your thing is. Because under. I guess you unblocked me. I don't know. I don't know I, it said you. that I was blocked, and yeah, that's why I went ahead and I put who is, who is Jess? Jess on there. Yes, Jess. Jess is the one that blocked her. Okay. Well. Okay. I but see how I couldn't reach Allie. out to you. I couldn't even finish the live to see what you turned out like well, because the, the last you ran you immediate. But listen, listen, girl. When I tell you, my friend Jessica popped on Reddit as I was on live, girl. Stop trying to fucking lie. Listen, listen. I'm gonna. I'm not lying. Of, if if I was blocked, really how could I? Have, how could you're I see blocked. what your ending result you were was? From my live, but you were not blocked. I mean. Clearly, I'm talking. It, no, it said the, that the host has blocked you across the top of my screen. Okay, well, all the other accounts that you have, you couldn't have gotten on. There. Never mind. Listen, I'll I, I don't there. have other accounts. Give excuses for your Allie, shitty. I want you to like relax. Relax, okay? Oh. Get it, girl. Like you are. I, I want to just big hug you and say, listen. We know that you're not about that life, and that's why I rallied for you and, and protected your name and said the same thing to her. I told Sarah the same thing, like. You really like, uh, like she's just trying to live her best normal life and struggling as it is. And, and like that, like I felt terrible for you. Like I honestly, we all did. We all wanted to see the end of that. Um, and it kind of ruined it for all of us. So I promise you, we all felt the same way about it. And I'm sorry that, um, yeah, that I'm sorry came. I got loud and crazy. I'm just, I get very upset because it's like, I don't do shit to people. I don't know you. I don't go on your things. I don't blast you for you supporting him and then not supporting him and you don't even know the facts girl listen listen i don't put no judgment on anybody i don't compete with anybody for a fucking reason and the fact that y'all y'all keep just doing this to me not only have you like yo, it's just a joke My, it's every, okay ali we're gonna put out that truth out there we're gonna get it on youtube with mama mel and yes, we're going to put to we're gonna put to some facts like, out there so people can hours. like understand where you come from me yeah. too. I, and I wanted, I asked Mel to be there because she's the only other person that was there. All the other girls only went for the damn sentencing. Nobody sat through Diane's shit. Nobody sat through Christine. Nobody sat through it besides me and Mel and all the other people that were there, not for Wade, that were there for like lawyer crap. Like nobody else was there because if they were and they still were supporting them, you're sick. There's no freaking way. There's no way. I talked to the lawyers. I talked to, I, I was there all the whole damn time. I got the disrespect from the families. I apologize to the families. I had the dirty looks. I had I had all of it. You had none of that. You don't even know a fucking fraction. So I suggest, please, from this point forward, girlfriend and all your little friends, keep people's name out of your mouth that you do not know about. Because if you're trying to do this for clout and you're trying to do this because it's not going to do anything. Because let me tell you, you can only push people so far. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I just strongly suggest you guys stop. That's all I have to say. And learn who people are before you make judgment because you would want me on your side. I'm somebody that you would want to be friends with. I'm actually somebody you'd probably fucking want to hang out with. But you wouldn't know because instead of trying to, you know, get to know somebody that went through the shitty shit that I went through, and nobody looks at that. They all see me as the ex whatever or the ex girlfriend or I'm the love praise this person, but yet, my letters were addressed as Mrs. Wilson, Mrs. Alexis Wilson. I, I really, I'm the love struck crazy person, but yet I was manipulated and lied to 
and I rode hard for somebody and it got shoved in my face and I had to sit there and not only listen and all the bullshit about his story, you don't even know these people. You don't know anything about it. You're not even from here. You don't know anybody. You don't know any of it. I, I, I'm here. I'm fucking in Fort Myers. I'm here. I know all of it. So please just stop. Like nothing, all your excuses, all of your bull, like I, I, the only reason you're here, like I said, is because you got called out. You wouldn't have done this if nobody called you out. You would have kept with your little thread and, and probably got on one of my other lives and tried to do whatever the hell you thought you could get from that one. Mm -hmm. But, the, and that's the, that's the reality. Like unpopular freaking opinion, I'm not, I don't care, but that's how I feel and I'm, a, I'm entitled to that. Because right now, you have not found a way to reach out to me, nor has anybody asked for me for you to reach out to me. You could have contacted anybody that I'm involved with and said, listen, I apologize. I judged before I knew, I'm sorry. I've had so many people do that. I've had so many people who were so for him get on my live, realize how I am, hear me speak, and then they end up being nice to me and they're for me and they support me because they know I'm not full of shit, all right? <laughs> but you didn't do that. You got on here and you played, like you played like you were so sorry, but yet you only are sorry because you got confronted. He's only sorry because he got caught. She's only sorry because she didn't got caught. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, that's not how it goes. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, I appreciate you you getting on here and saying that, but I honestly feel like it's not it's not real. It's not genuine. And it's feel like it's forced. But and I'm sorry for, you know, getting out of my character, Coral, on your life. I apologize. Listen, but, Allie, I, I, I'm well, rushing well, on because I know that this forced. is something that I had got, to discuss. Like you you literally I, have, I was uh, all the right to say before, what you have to say. Well, I was on here before you got on and they asked if or said that you were coming on no, I and i said that was fine and I'm that so you know we would have a discussion and i've i've listened to everything you've had to say yeah. i've not honestly followed anything after i disconnected with him i've not listened really to any of the calls well, like, okay so listen if you unfollowed and you're not about it you you, you jump so quick to do that and when i say seconds like when i say my homegirl literally peeped your shit, bro she got on reddit as you posted it and told me about it literally yeah. as you posted it like i can't even describe the fact that she was like yo this girl she even told me put your whole face in there because this girl is tearing your ass up on reddit immediately like, well gone. how how could she tell you that like, like put your whole face on it when she blocked me from your live i yeah, i couldn't see it I, she shit. blocked me from it so how could i how could i watch sarah, the, what, what it turned wrote, out you, to be like sarah, you still wrote those things on reddit though sarah we all saw what you wrote Seriously, you thank you. like did your fingers matter right you because i i mean you? if holy shit holy i understand shit. what i wrote i i mean i was the one that wrote it but the reason that it only made me think that it was not going to turn into a pumpkin i mean i didn't i didn't see the whole live i couldn't no, it watch wasn't the whole even about life. that though sarah i'm sorry honey but it, it wasn't literally even about said that. pumpkin halloween makeup on the goddamn live thing you, are you no it didn't right now you i took it like if you look at the person. bottom of the screenshot it just said get ready with me and you clap no you you insulted her looks you insulted her looks let's yeah, be real did. and you're gonna insult you're gonna insult my looks you're gonna insult me right that's cool that's cool i mean i get it whatever i'm not the most beautiful person but like i, I don't even want to say it. you know what i'm not even gonna i'm not gonna go there yeah, i think you're you gonna owe talk Ali shit about people just make sure that you're the person you look like you can be a I'm sitting here in rain. Okay, I gotta go. I'm losing my shit in my shop. Like, I'm railing around like a breathe, psycho. Breathe, okay, yeah. girl? Breathe. Yeah, I know please. you needed to get that yeah. out. You needed to clear the air. But listen, we're going to talk. We're going to get the story that. out there, okay. get the truths out there. Oh, I don't want God. any, uh, you know, I feel really terrible for you. But I, my, I have always told people, you did the right thing, okay? Out of everybody that's gotten involved, you are the one of the few true that actually got to see and hear. When nobody else got to hear and you made the right decision, you never contacted him after. So I appreciate that. And uh, Al, you know that I've, I've, I will always ride with you. I think you're a great human. Um, I, we, you know, you already know. But you know what? Also, people don't know is that you knew him before. People also didn't know that part. They didn't know that you're from there and you knew all the people that were associated. But we're gonna get that story out there so that way these things can't happen because it's bullshit. And I do agree with that. I don't. I didn't want you to get hurt. I was hurt that you got. You were. I told her that you cried, you bulged your eyes out. I thought that was yeah, terrible. Yeah, I, I, I because, look, and I'm, I'm a one very tough emotional person. I, I am so to the point, I don't show my emotions. I'm very good at hiding. I'm very freaking good at it. But that tore me up because my favorite holiday 
And I have to, it's just bad enough that I get on this app and every time I scroll up, it's a damn sex trap about this guy. I can't even imagine what the victim's families feel like on social media because they have blown him up so much. So yeah, it's a little shitty that like I go on to, to, to hang out with the people that I've become friends with because I'm, they're not local and they're all around the goddamn world. It's the only way that I'm able to do it, you know, and people just, just ruin it. It's just, it's, it's crazy to me. And then all, all the time, and you don't, re, you don't screen record the good stuff. You don't screen record the, the finished product. You screen record all the other good shit that's going on. No, you screen the, record the two seconds I speak about him because people have flooded my chat with it and I'm forced to talk about it. But if you would know, I, I have one video that has his name on it, one. So if I get called a cloud chaser one more again, I'm gonna lose it because there's no way. And I've had to literally get on and I had to call you out on the ticky dog, you know, I had to make a whole freaking video because this is ridiculous and we're in high school. But you know, and I understand, but I am gonna make one last shame before I hop off. But the next time that somebody is going to, you know, talk about somebody. Oh, she got muted. That you can take every bit of makeup off of you, look in the mirror and, and, <laughs> And, and, and be able to compare yourself. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because the fact that somebody isn't pretty on the outside has nothing to do with it. But bitch, like you're, it's ugly on the inside. Like that's, it's giving ugly and it's giving nasty and it's giving, I don't trust you. And it's giving, I don't, you're fake and like plastic. And I don't like, I need Windex right now. Like that's what it's giving me. And I feel like all this was just because you got, you know, called out and you know, you're not really. <laughs> I didn't I didn't join this live because I knew you were on here. I, I I got on here before you got on here. They no, had said that you were joining other people. But I had out. no problem well, having a discussion with, with you. And like I said, I, I didn't have a problem with you joining. Um, I, you know, that's fine that you wanted to have a discussion, but that's not <laughs> what I was intending on doing was, you know, uh, coming out because yeah, I got caught. That's up, not what it was. You, I you, owned you, up to everything that I did, yeah, yeah. and I'm not backtracking no, on it at all. You only owned up to it because people freaking blasted you. That doesn't make it right. This, oh my God, I said I'm sorry because I got caught. That doesn't make it right. That doesn't make you sorry. You got called. That you, it doesn't make it right. You didn't apologize well, because uh, you genuinely um, fucked up and felt and sorry. Not, no, you apologized because people said shit to you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't not, even be here right now if it didn't get taken down in such a big deal about it. You well, that. that's the that well, and it's not that I'm not gonna apologize right now, but I never said I apologized mm -hmm. before. You keep saying I said I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've not said well, that one time. That's true. She hasn't. She hasn't. She has not apologized. Yeah, she I'm sorry. You keep sorry, saying Ellie. that I have said it. I've not once said that to, in this not, live. But, 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 so, so Sarah, I'm, I'm, what, do you stand by everything that you've said about Ali then, and and the post? I never said that either. I mean, I've really not had the opportunity to talk. I've been politely listening yeah. to her going on and on and on and on and on and you know putting words in my mouth i've never had the opportunity to Maybe you say, didn't say sorry but everything else you fucking did oh my god sorry like, excuse okay, me that I didn't what else did i have well, the opportunity well, sir, to say sir, sir, you, you just look, not right look. now you set it up on the damn post you talked about my look you talked like you just totally you, okay you literally but you're talking about right now in this moment i've not been able no, to really say anything post. okay but sir, I'll, 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 I'll talk whenever you're done Girl, hold on, hold on. Let me just say this really fast. Sarah, do you see how your impulsive act, how what you did, how impulsive you reacted to seeing something that you didn't have the full uh, detail on? Do you see how quickly that turned out? Right. How I, I do see out? that. However, I never, like I said, I was blocked from that live, str that live stream. So but I put it, but I never saw blocked, the end of it. it. So I, you were blocked doesn't it. mean for you to go on Reddit and make a video and you know, it, it doesn't mean for you to take those courses of actions. Do you still stand by those courses of actions that I you don't took because you got but, uh, like there? I can tell you the reasons why I did them. If you want to let me yeah, say yeah, that, please, by all means, yeah, go ahead. Because yeah. I had I had made some comments on, you know, I had commented during the live where I was saying um, the uh, phone calls from prison, the acronym for that. And um, I had mentioned WW, you know, that that's what her look that she was, you know, drawing was impicting. Well, right after that, I got cut off. So uh, what else would I assume? 
So you got but mad and then went to Reddit there? on it? That's the problem that I have with people that come to my platform. They don't like what I have to say or I block them because they're being rude. And then they go write Reddit threats of shit about me when it had nothing to us because they got mad because I blocked them. Well, right. when you're going to shit, when you're going to glorify a man that unalived women, I'm definitely going to block you because it, I don't have a chance with all the facts them. out there. I, I no, was you think simply... Jennifer? You don't even know the facts, and you think you're, you're vouching for this. You're vouching. Well, off she's of not she anymore, says. Allie, but she did. Like I think she said six days um, in the beginning stages. Oh, okay. Well, you know that's that's. <sighs> and she talked to him, and then he said disgusting, vulgar things to her. And after that, she was like, "Okay, he's definitely guilty." Yeah. So just yeah. to give you that backstory, because she was well, on that side, too. And I just don't I wanted you to understand, Sarah, because that's what's been happening to all of us, is that when some when when you get triggered by something, you go to Reddit where you know that those people are just avidly shitting on people. And I think your intentions were for people to rally and equally shit on her. And then it flipped and it got turned on you because people knew who you were on the Reddit. People had already did an investigation. Oh, yeah. on I you. Mean, my name. It's my name on Reddit. I, I don't hide behind a different you know, screen name it. It's my name. Well, why didn't you just go to? Okay, even though she got blocked you I, from the I live or whatever, I blocked you. It said I, I feel like you, you definitely should have gone and said something to her, woman to woman. That's why I tell people too. Instead of going well, shit on the Reddit, where be a big girl and come into my inbox and let's have a discussion. Uh, I'll bring you up. I I was. It said that I was blocked. Like no, it, you and have, like it, multiple accounts, right? I mean, you have. No, I don't. That's what that was. I met my next question is why? Why no, do you think that I have multiple, multiple accounts? Because I don't. I heard that you've been getting on other people's jumpsuit. lives on a couple of different ones. That's all. Well, I no, I, I honestly yeah. I uh, could send you a screenshot. I do not have multiple accounts. That that's fine, but it. Okay, well then, okay, I'm glad you cleared that up. So then that, that that was said in mine was not true. Okay, well, because I was told that you had multiple accounts and that you were back on my shit. So I was oh, just curious. No. I, I honestly, I, I, my I don't. I'm listening to the rumor mill, but everything else seems to be like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I still feel like you, 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 just, you wanted to it tear was, me down. I will say that it was, yes, it was a, um, a jump to conclusions, but so if you I felt like the rest of the that, life, what would you have done then? What would your post be on Reddit about me then? If you watched the rest of the live and saw the pumpkin makeup, would it have been a nice thing? I probably would have, have, probably would have never been? had a discussion with you like I'm having right now. You wouldn't have so did you just get, you just went to the Reddit because you got mad because you were muted blocked. from the live? Yeah. No, I said that I was blocked when I, I didn't, I, I wouldn't say <laughs> ask. I, it was more of an educational so question of why she was wanting to, you know, look like him. And Nobody even then I got blocked. Like, do you think it was I like, been like I'm so gonna do even though it wasn't like me, a, like, um, it wasn't, there was no me? answer given. That's so immature. I'm sorry. Because man. I only that's, saw that's like, that's the two. Tell. Well, I don't understand. So everybody that's on live that's going to do skull makeup. I'm like I said before, are you going to screen record them and associate them with Wade because they're doing a Halloween look? When you're directly like, re directly connected with Wade, that's where I felt like it was a little even do with him. Um, It's off. literally how I started the damn mouth. And if you were even, when but you got in and I, saw me I doing it, I literally your was Girl, when listen, I couldn't if, see the live, whole thing. If you were reading, they were all saying it was pumpkin. A lot of people were saying pumpkin makeup because I wasn't able to respond a lot of the time. So there were, it was said multiple times what I was Right, doing. but how am I supposed to know why that it was pumpkin lost? makeup? I, but why wouldn't like, you I, go I, to her directly? Why wouldn't you I couldn't see try anything to... besides the beginning stages. So how do you... You'd but the how, how do you matter expect that you me went to, to know Reddit on it? You went to Reddit to expecting out to, to get a rise out of people and expecting them to rally to talk shit about her instead yeah. of actually asking or finding out the whole facts, just like you did in the beginning. You didn't listen to the facts. You just went on to what one girl on TikTok said, and that's half the problem. I, we have to get the facts. You're not getting that facts, and then you're yeah, automatically pointing your finger her. at a person that, that you're not any equally. Uh, like you did the same thing. You you like are equally on the same page where and honestly kind of a little bit like she at least knew him prior uh, and then she walked away from it. You jumped into it listening to somebody on TikTok and then went after that person saying, oh, yeah, they're right. And then and then went and reached out to him in the kiosk yourself. So why would you go to Reddit knowing that they were good, that all they've been doing is talking badly about these people? It's because you had the intentions hoping that they were going to rally and support that. Um, you went there trying to uh, out of anger, and that's what you did. But you're not admitting that you went there out of anger. It had nothing to do yeah, with the pumpkin face. It was, it was, it was more uh, like, hey, I can screenshot her here and send that. For what I did view on the live, it I felt 
look disrespectful for the victims just because it, it's different and i'm not it's saying that anybody that, that, that does skull paintings oh on their God. face you were directly oh. re directly connected with him that you know but i pumpkin makeup like it, i my half my I face didn't is see done the whole pumpkin makeup because i didn't get to done. see the whole get ready no. with me. i mean it doesn't I, matter it doesn't matter no. sarah sarah let me ask you no. do you know how to spell do you know how to spell the word assume yeah, Nobody it makes sense out of you and me. Exactly. You're like the exactly. only one that associated the name with the freaking makeup. Like, I, do you think that I know if you knew me, do you really, anybody that, girl, would you really think that I would go on a live and do makeup <laughs> that look like fucking, the, who else should not be fucking named, bro? Like, are you kidding me right now? You have are to you understand really? how upset yeah. this has affected or how much this has affected Ali because yeah, going of nice because I'm everything sick of that she has gone through and how you associated <laughs> pumpkin makeup whether it was in the process of skeleton looking you or whatever associated like, with him i didn't even sit there and make videos about you no. being associated with him and i had a reason to walk away you didn't even meet you don't even know what right. you mean i'm a jail now like you didn't even know we're Sarah six days she assumed she was Are you impulsive serious? yes she was she, assumed she was impulsive and this is the result of those actions so sarah let me ask you are well, i didn't you, sit there and go flood her and embarrass her and everybody else associated with him that's what makes us different. I don't do that to people. Every single old one of you, besides a few that are still like, are decent, every other one, I said nothing but throw dirt in my name and, and, and make shit and make fun of Like none of y'all have any, any fucking room to do shit. I'm hey just, Jess, I'm not, I'm not bringing you back on this live because I know you're a moderator for Allie and no offense or anything, girl, but this was between like Sarah and Allie and Chris is just like the, always the calm voice. So it's not. Sorry, Chris, um, I wasn't trying to yell at you. I'm so. I didn't want to bring. I don't want to bring you on. And I, like, so I don't want her to be like, you know, harassed. There's like a whole bunch of people on here. So, I, I, if yeah, you have something to say, I don't you want can definitely. Either. I really don't. I don't want anybody saying anything to you. That's I said, why I said I'm... it. I wanted to only have Allie here because this. I, I know you're the moderator and you're the one that blocked her. However, it's it, this is something that they were gonna hash out, and I just, you know, letting letting that happen because Allie had that, and I wanted her to be able to to speak her piece because it mentally was affecting her to the point of a mental breakdown. And I want people to understand that yeah, you, know, like, you can have your own opinions, whatever that. you want, but that's still just not I right because I've been, sorry I've been the target of hate too. And, it's because, like and most of it is ex moderators or people because I blocked them because they were saying inappropriate things. And instead of coming to me and talking to me like a human, they went and wrote Reddit threads of shit. So it's like, to me, like our, Am I going to make you upset and you're going to go write a Reddit thread about me? You know, like instead of just coming to me directly, woman to woman and have a conversation like an adult, because um, I'll respect that. But I don't I respect to. anybody that goes behind. I, 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 I couldn't you know? come to her because I like I said, I was blocked. Hell, I mean, I don't even know like what time it, if you if this wasn't your TikTok that had this live streaming on because um, I did try to click on it. And it said that I was blocked. I could not go woman to woman with her. I don't know if she did it early in the morning, like when I, I viewed it. It was her it moderator. Was early she the said her oh, moderator around that she blocked it. you. Just did, it. Just did it as soon as you popped up with not only the first time you saying something, but you said something again. And she, I had told her, I said, I don't mind that people ask. I can ignore them. But when you're going to ask repeatedly, then I know what you're here for. And she's, uh, well, see, that's that's where I, I don't think you're I, if you can D, if you can DM me what those um, other screen names were, the only two things I had said, I'm going to tell you what two things I said under that were me. And it was the prison phone call comment and the one that said WW. Like yeah, and fine, but whatever. I also just said you only commented twice. I was just saying when, but you're, but that is not associated. But you had said that I have multiple accounts, which I, I just want to know no, which ones those are because I those are not that, me. Listen, I was, I apologize, I apologize to you for that because if you did not have multiple accounts that you were going back on, which is what I was told by a couple of the people in one of my lives. No, so that's all. I apologize. I shouldn't have listened to anybody. I can. It's own okay. No, it's it's I fine. This is how. Um, I have a problem with Ali look, constantly Allie, apologizing. Look throughout this whole conversation like he only... has apologized like multiple times and we haven't heard that from sarah like not once right and i like i'm i'm trying to say i have not had the opportunity because i have been on this live since before you jumped on i had said before you jumped on that i was going to delete it i had gotten on 
uh, Coral's live because we were discussing the Reddit, the Reddit thread being deleted because, um, and I had told her what reasons it got deleted. And then, you know, you were joining and I was totally fine with that. And I, and I'm hearing you out. And I do want to apologize. I, you know, I don't, I, I don't know you as a person and I feel bad that this has gotten to the point that it has because, um, honestly, like I said, I did not see the entire, you know, live stream. I didn't have that opportunity. I understand why I was blocked because of the comments, but, and it was a precursed prejudgment that I had made on you. And I apologize for that. I don't want this to affect you anymore. I do stand behind what I said, and I'm going to delete it as soon as I get off of the live. And you know, up, though, this shows that you're so full of shit, dog. I'm sorry, but if you're saying you're um, gonna go delete it, that means you didn't. Right, have but any I'm, I'm on live right now. I, I I don't know how else I'm supposed but to delete it when I'm currently it. online. So, so are you? You're not gonna do that it. again about anybody, oh, right? You're gonna God. come to them next time, okay. right? Okay. I'm sorry. If y'all want to listen to this piece of bullshit, you can. I love you, Coral. I'll call you later. I appreciate you letting me come on, but I can't. I can't. I can't. All right, we're gonna talk, Ali. We'll have a conversation. I bought the. Okay, bye. I love. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm sorry that this seemed I just wanted her to be able to speak her piece and thank you for letting her come on because I know this has mentally affected her so I I applaud you for not backing out and actually staying here and um, hashing it out yeah. with her and talking I really I mean, hope I, that going forward though in the future you think about the mental things that I get I get it everybody's entitled to their own opinion but I wish that you would have um, chose a different option uh, to express yours uh, because that was just like a it's already been kind of chaos in those streets. And I feel like if you would have actually gotten a chance to get to know who she is, you would have, you would have, it would have, it would have went a different way. Um, mm -hmm. And that's the whole part that when people get mad at me for defending people like Ali, and I think they just haven't had a chance to get to know her. She did the right things uh, by leaving when um, she found the facts and she got to hear the blunt, honest truth. And she never looked back and never called him again. Uh, burned all his things and she moved on. And all of her lives have been her trying to avoid uh, Wilson talk. And it just keeps getting brought back up. And she gets, she, it's actually putting her in a bad mental place to constantly have to be, have that people associating her with that when she's just trying to live her life. And she was on TikTok prior to all this happening. She was doing transitions and makeup videos and just uh, her ice cream shop and stuff. And now she's just trying to get back to normalcy and, it just, it's someone's always constantly poking at her life. And it just, I mean, if that was you, you would, you'd be feeling in some sort of way too, you know? I mean, yeah. And I, that's where I, I, uh, I, I stayed because I feel like I can relate to a lot of what, not totally, because I've obviously never been to any of his trials or, you know, been, you know, in person with this person. Um, but I, I, I can tell you, I know how she feels because I, I get that stuff like on TikTok and Reddit. And that's why I stayed. I mean, I wanted her to tell me how she felt and her to let it out. Um, be, and I owned up to it. Everything, every single thing I have done on here in regards to this Wade Wilson shit, I have stood behind everything that I have said and I have stayed and listen to what people have to say to me about how they feel about it and no it's not always pleasant but um you know it was an action that i did um i i wouldn't say i regret it i am sorry for it but it's an opportunity is what i look at it as to get to know a different side of a person than what it looks you know on the outside without knowing them um, that it was an opportunity for me to, you know, kind of hear how she feels and how she stands on the entire situation. Because in the beginning, um, I, I didn't know who any of the characters were really that were part of this, um, that were part of his life. And just like, we didn't know who Jesse was and we're starting to learn about all these people that are players in the game. Well, most of the players in the game that are the most outspoken, are not the best ones and i just i knew that she had apologized and it was kind of like you know i didn't know if it was another kristen story where it's like now we have more phone calls from kristen and she was all you know this changed person and now we're hearing a different side of that 
Yeah, and that's that's valid to say that because Kristen we know was definitely lied the whole time, but I assure you that this one's a different case. Um even even um Mel said the same thing that she she saw her, she saw as soon as she heard what happened and she saw her shake her head, put her hand on, she saw tears coming down her face after she got to hear the the brutal details and she walked away and never looked back. Blocked his calls doesn't didn't answer anything and just walked away from the whole situation as a whole and she actually stayed quiet because she couldn't even live her normal life because of this uh and then came forward only so she could talk about you know her makeup and getting ready with me and doing all these things and so we've all been rough, like just showing up just to give her different and not talk about weed and everybody only wants to talk to her about that and it's the same thing that's why i told her we're going to get her story out i hope that when we put that out on youtube that you actually listen to what she like witnessed and heard and been through and kind of can form an opinion but i suggest going forward that you get to know someone before that because you know what it's like if you said that you had reddit threads about you it's it's like okay you, if you know what that's like you got to think about others and um and get to know them first form your opinion sure but like why create a thread just to talk badly about someone um and instead without the person being there to me it, it seems so fraudulent for somebody to go shit on somebody on another platform instead of coming to that person directly or hey let's well, have I a couldn't. conversation let's let's, it, let's talk it was, i'm feeling some type of way i couldn't i like yes. but sir, i was blocked from her tiktok it. that's it sir the thing is is that you say because that i was blocked from her tiktok i could not view her tiktok it, it said that user was not available i couldn't come again, to her again you say that you're blocked on her tiktok but you went to reddit and that she still saw it and instead of just saying hey ali i'd like to know why i was blocked or you know i'm sorry if i i didn't know that me. she was on that she was on reddit so well, it's even it worse just, you were going there to crap on her without anybody even being able to defend themselves you were just hoping right. that people were going to rally with you on your pe uh, feelings because you got blocked and you were mad about it because you didn't get to you know, like, say your piece but honestly like that's the whole part of what's been causing this has nothing to do the, the whole situation has been turned away from what the rallying of the victims and getting the truth out there to these little side dramas that are creating problems for people and it's all because people are not you know they're, they're going behind and going and doing all these things and creating a ruckus and then you got it turned on you i saw that too and i was like people screenshot it sent to me and i was like damn what the fuck's happening that was rather quick like it literally was a matter of minutes after she had done that um, she wasn't even off her live before she had erased it all and had a whole panic attack over it because that's not what her intentions were. But that's the problem is that we got to stop assuming things and actually like, you know, even if you couldn't, even if she blocked you and said that there was other ways to go about it. You could have like had a conversation. You could have talked to Charlie. You could have had Charlie get you in contact and say, hey, she wants to have a conversation with you. Well, there's ways to get around it. I've had plenty of conversations with people especially after I found out that they've been writing Reddit threads they hate about me and I've gone to them directly and talked to them and said, hey, if you had a problem, you should have come to me directly. And then they wanted to lie yeah. and say they didn't say it when I, 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 I will like, say that I did go. I don't know if it was to you, Chris, or if it was to Christy. And I did post I did send right after that. And I did. I sent it to one other person. But um, just because this is a whole learning experience, I'm not going to that person is not in this live right now, but um, that content creator, I also sent it to them. Um, and really, I didn't have any um, uh, opposing uh, views from that person. Um, and I don't remember what either, if it was, Chris, if Chris, you didn't send it, uh, if you didn't reply to me, um, then it was Christy, but um, I didn't even see they, your message. They didn't really have an opinion of it. They, yeah. I didn't see your message until like late at night, and I was like, "Wait, what is going on?" And I was so confused when I finally saw the video, like hours after the fact that you, because you sent it to me in a message. Yeah. And I didn't see it. And like I said, I didn't see it until like way at the end of the day, like one o'clock in the morning type. And then I saw it, and I was like, "What is going on?" And I was like. I don't, I'm not, I, I didn't like the post. I didn't engage with it. I didn't comment and I didn't even respond back. So I was like, what is going on? And then I saw the Reddit stuff and I was like, Sarah, like, what are you doing? Right. Like, um, I just could not. And so I didn't say anything because I'm like, dude, this, I don't want to get involved in that crap. Like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. But that was, uh, that, that was why I brought that up was 
um, in response to Coral, like I could have had conversations. I did. I, I did send that to three different, well, four, if you include um, the person who definitely did comment on that post. But um, yeah, I did have conversations with people about it. Yeah. And yeah, I, I will make it the record clear that it definitely was not me. This is our first conversation about that um, entirely. And, I, and, you know, I'll be honest, I was really uh, when, especially when I saw the Reddit comments, I was taken back um, because, again, me and you have had conversations before, and I'm like, "Whoa!" Like that opened yeah, my yeah. And I think a lot of those uh, responses on Reddit that I had, um, the person that um, definitely had my opinion um, more persuaded the way that those Reddit um, posts are slanted towards which is against Ali. um it, it was i i understood it from their perspective and i had the same perspective just not as uh not as passionate um you, as have, that to person. you have to understand where ali is coming from with you know her emotions and things of that she's still healing you know from a lot right uh, well really you know this her. the 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 reason why I was offended by it, and I could, like I said, I couldn't see what the ending point was because I could only view the beginning. Was I thought it was, you know, um, odd that someone that was directly connected and they say was, you know, so uh, ate up about this Wade Wilson thing was making their face to look like that. And um, when I had a discussion with this particular other person, um, you know, they they really spoke on how it was uh, they took offense to it because of the victims in uh, the Wade Wilson case and how it was disrespectful to them. And that's when I really took the stance that I did on it and was like, you know, that it really, it, I can see where they were coming from and I would feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Right. But it doesn't mean, you know, like, but, you know, a lot of people were offended too that you had you you were reaching out to him in the kiosk after the fact. So it's equally as bad that after you the could fact, even, I, you were you I, were part I, part of that too. You reached out as well. She um, didn't reach out after the fact. After she he got that guilty uh, like after that trial was over, she was gone way before even sentencing came. So that's the part is even after you went on feeds like listening to some random girl on TikTok believing what she said and then reached out to the kiosk and yourself then went to Reddit to shit on somebody who you did the same thing, but worse because you didn't even know the guy. Um, she actually knew him. And that's where we want you to understand that that's you're not um, what you did was not right either. And that's why people came at you because, hey, who are you to point fingers when you did this not knowing the whole truth? You didn't even investigate or research yourself. You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful that you came up and I'm glad you cleared the air that you were the one that got the the reddit thread ban because that's at least now that's out there and people at least now realize um you know yeah it, it, i oh, there was a lot of um assumptions where it was um on like there were posts on i guess it's the regular uh reddit page i don't know really which one was which they both to me seemed muddied with both sides um but the uh i would assume the rebel one was the one that got deleted um, because I had posted that at, like on the banner or whatever the thing is. It's, it's not your profile picture, but it's the thing behind it, kind of like Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I had purposely, I had found in my old TikToks, or not TikToks, uh, my old photos in my photo album because Google Photos had said, oh yeah, do you, ha you have a memory from this day. And it showed that that purse with you know my address from the louis vuitton um box and i was like oh cool i don't live there anymore and sure as hell like people kept reposting it and it was like boom you know they can't repost my information i mean i can post a picture of whatever but you know they um they continued reposting that and so that's i guess from what I've been told, why it was banned and it, it it's not supposed to come back from what they've said. They're pretty upset over it. I'm not saying that they're uh, applauding me by any means, but that's what I've gathered from um, this certain 
person or whoever this person is. I don't know their name. Mm -hmm. I know their I username is the same. I get your TikTok. feelings and intentions. You're the one that blocked um, Sarah, which then in turn this whole thing. But either at the end of the day, um, I think lessons were learned here. And I'm hoping that Sarah's not going to go do any of that kind of stuff ever again without getting to know people or at least conversate with monks friends or talk to people else besides trying to like as like i feel that's a lot of the where people get mad where i defend people and it's like okay if their mental state is also struggling do you want to be the person that ends up um taking them over to that edge and you got to live with that the rest of your life that you you your bullying is what caused them to not alive themselves you know like that's the part is she's trying to heal and people keep bringing her back and she's just trying to live her life. And yeah. like, I want you to realize that I wouldn't want people to do that. You made a mistake, you own your shit, you move on from it and you keep going on with your life, right? But if every day, everybody is only associating you with this one person and every day they're just shitting on you, it wears you down for a lot of people. Some of us are strong, you know, but some some people are still in the healing process and they can't, they can't, you know, they're stuck. And then th these kind of things do set people emotionally over because yeah. they're not thinking about it and everything she does, she has to think and imagine that to you, you know? I'm yeah. sure you're getting hate uh, no matter what right. because of that. I'm sure because you, you oh, even yeah, just because you said he was, he was innocent at one point, you're getting hate, you know? And I don't think yeah, anybody it, should be getting that kind of hate well, except for Jesse. I'll point out that, that yeah, because I, I didn't know the full facts in the beginning. Yeah, I get hate behind yeah it's not a fun you've place to be in but i do respect if you came on here and take, you get said it's your piece. anybody that's vocal that's yeah i mean both both sides it doesn't matter if you were ever for against or you know if you speak on the subject you're gonna get hate it from yeah. whatever direction it, it doesn't matter that's just that's just how it is and that's just an observation but that's um good. Yep, and I get it. That's, that's the thing is that's why I accept it because I put myself on a platform and I know I'm going to get it. I know it's going to come with the territory, but I'm strong enough to deal with that. And I know that and I just don't go there for that simple purpose. But it's not as people are real quick to screenshot everything, especially about people to let them know. I get screenshots all the time for stuff. And I'm like, man, I'm not even going to click on that thread because I just couldn't see the caption and I already know it's not going to be anything good. So it's like I choose not to just even I just remove myself from it. But I wish a lot of these people it's all because they're disgruntled and it's not even because of anything that's important. It's just because they were mad because I removed them. And now instead of coming and saying anything about it, they're just going to go and and write a thread about it, which is now like, what is your intentions to write that? You know, it's just, it's just not a good look. It's just a lot of like on that part, I feel like um, you just were angry and you, you reacted thinking that it was going to work out a way. It wasn't anything to do with that because equally people could say the same thing about you, that they're disgusted that you reached out to this guy and that you, you rallied with these people, even if it was for six days or one day, um, it still affected others and they still could say the same. Um, and so it's just kind of like, that's the part where it didn't make sense. It'd be, I think a lot of the people that are talking shit about, or we're talking crap about Ali, they just had their own personal feelings, but they, they always had the stance of guilty. They never, you know, they never have wanted, they never said anything otherwise. So it kind of was like, Mm -hmm. He's gone all the way around fucked up, honestly, uh, but you've already said your piece on it and you moved on from it. Definitely um, hope that you don't do that going forward. And um, mm -hmm. I won't block you, but please, if you have something to say to me, come to me directly, guys. All of y'all like I'm, I don't block people unless you literally come into my live and say uh, like Wade's innocent. OK, boom, block, because I'm, I'm not doing it. It's just we're already too far deep in the game and have so much information that we know that he's not. So that's the only time I block people, but I want, I respect people that come to me and tell me how they feel or, Hey, I don't agree with you on that. And you know what? We have constructive conversations. They come in here and they support me every day because we can be adults about it and talk about it. So hopefully even if you did get blocked by somebody you could go around it, there's a way to get around it. Um, at least putting it out there, even on, even if you made a video yourself and said, Hey, I just want to say this and that way it will get shared. It someone's mm -hmm. going to definitely drop that to her. So just knowing forward, if you don't get like that, something like that happens, use your resources and do it the right way next time, just because it's just the right thing to do um, equally. equally sure. so, and know? that's that's how life is, is the, everything is a learning experience. But um, yeah, and hopefully if and if she doesn't, um, if she, you guys see other um, TikToks that are depicting me, I 
I really only have this one. Um, and you know, I've, I've never so faked you don't have another TikToks. Uh, no, I, I do not have any other TikToks, And I mean, no, I'm saying on if, yours, you don't have any, yeah, nothing on there with pro weight or weight like, yeah, there's a, no, there's a lot of people in the chat that are saying that you have, uh, like there's traps of Wade Wilson on your page. So I don't know. I haven't checked out your page of like, I know that. I haven't checked it either. That's why I was asking no. because a lot of people said that you do. No, you'll see. Like the free Wade Wilson. It was basically saying like the Wade Wilson in jail uh, but I was keeping the person of this guy I mean they it's uncanny how oh, alike they look but no and then there's just the messages that were between him and I and um, it was the disgusting ones that yeah I don't think anybody would probably want to be well this but I'm not sure it's breaking up really bad, Sarah. You're going to have to re-explain when the connection Thanks. comes back. There, everybody's saying that she does have stuff. Yeah, on it. everyone said yes. I'm going to mute myself and um, go check real fast. I, I mean, like I said, I've I've not deleted anything that I've ever posted on there, and it's always been of just my messages. There, um, they said there's a few videos I, on there make it public i don't know what what they're meaning make it public and th my entire facebook or TikTok is public it's not private at all wow that's brave of you <laughs> you said I, I don't even give a shit i'm just gonna come out with my name and go public i mean that's that there's uh, things that i've gone through in life that um that are pretty crazy but um there was a point in time where i i had made peace with some things and life is just too short that i i don't pretend to you know i'm not going to make a fake TikTok and you know uh waste my time trying to you know be something else when i'm just gonna be me and if people don't like it i mean i've read enough in the comments about how people feel and um you know, that's fine that you want to feel that way. I'm going to continue, you know, being me. Um, like I said, I've learned from this experience. But if you and you are going to delete those videos that you like you said. So that's not true. It's called a learning experience. And if they want to sit on their, you know, pedestal that they put themselves on as if they don't learn every day throughout their life, then um, I guess they would be in the kindergarten phase and stay on that level or they just would rather not self-reflect like I have. I mean, I, I said that I felt bad about what happened. I didn't want her to feel that way, but, I, you know, I, it, um, you know, out of just judge. I didn't think about it. I didn't think that someone was going to take what I posted to heart like she did. I, I don't know her like that. Um, I've never spoken to her. I've never followed her. Um, Listen to the phone call. What are you talking about in here, Robin? You know who Sarah is? Yeah, it's breaking up again, Sarah. So I will say that I went Sarah. on her page and she does have a lot of uh, dupe. Uh, like, it's like this man from Argentina that looks like Wade Wilson. Um, so I did see that. So I don't know. It's just very confusing to look at um, as I finally went on the page and I, I checked out some of your videos because it's like, you know, you're you're basically saying, you know, he's a good, I don't know, he's a good looking man. Um, it's just, it's just... I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I kind of feel like it is like there's traps, even though it's not him specifically, but there is like one where there's a photo of Wade Wilson and then they put the camera on the Argentina dude who looks like him in the pool. And, you know, it's just, it, it's just interesting. It's very odd uh, for me personally. I would never, especially if you're not for him, I, I would say just remove it. 
um, at this point because it's not serving you well, especially with uh, the impulsive actions um, that you've displayed today. And then, you know, just, uh, you, you know, and let's be honest here, Sarah, you were mad that you were blocked and that's why you wanted to get a reaction out of her. So I'm not buying the, you know, I didn't mean to make her upset. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Like, that's like one of my biggest pet peeve is when people take actions and then they want to act like, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. I just can't like, just, you may not have known her personally, but I just, you know, it, it is what it is. You wanted to enrage her. You wanted to get an emotional reaction from her. And that's exactly what you got, you know, definitely just take accountability for your actions. Um, uh, you know, and, and just apologize and just move forward from it. You know, that's all that you can do and just try to be a better person. You know, as you said, this is a learning experience and I think you have uh, learned a lot from, from this. So at least Her I and bread had beef. Who's that? Yeah. Who's bread? Oh, bread loaf. Um, uh, Brie. You and Brie had beef? Breezy? No, oh no, I've never, I've, I did not ever get to know that girl. I didn't know anything about which until June. Um, I, like, I had never heard of the guy, but um, Brie uh, was, um, uh, uh, Brett had, had posted. Chris, do you know who Breadwinner is? I have no idea who that yeah, is. I don't know either. Uh, they were saying she will that. she will have beef with bread breeze the blonde chick she was in the kiosk she was part of the team brie next time i get upset with life i need chris contact info she's she'd call him a tasmanian devil <laughs> thank you <laughs> She's a head breadwinner looks like a scripper. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know even know who that is. Well, she has an OnlyFans, but um, I don't know why my connection is oh, so bad. The original like, sitting in oh. my house, and I don't... Who was part of the original crew with you? See, that's the thing. Like, the whole... The, the term Wade Wives was way after I even disconnected from him. Um, they had, I had seen them create like a Facebook group. Um, and that's what they were calling themselves within that Facebook group. Um, I know the Brie girl was one of the ones that was the starter creator of it. I do not know who all was involved with it. I never joined that group. Um, I had seen screenshots people sent me Christy is in the chat, she from Christy, and she said, I'm in here because I was invited multiple times. I'd like to address my name being spoken. She also says she did not agree with Sarah on anything about Allie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never I said the that. the only one thing that she said is she I, no. said she didn't know if it was Chris that she had talked to or if it was you. Is there something that I missed or she was talking yeah, about? Yeah, I Christy? never said that the, that Christy or Christy um, agreed with me on it. I said that I had sent those out to three people. Mm -hmm. um, she wasn't talking. I, I didn't hear any bad about Christy. Did you, Chris? Me? No. Yeah, I didn't. I only heard her say she didn't know if she had sent something to um, to you or to Chris. Yeah. Yeah, no, Sarah, yeah, she just didn't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. Robin got a problem with you, though. I don't know what's going on with Robin over there. Yeah, Robin says that she knows Sarah. Yeah, she says, I know. I, she I, knows I, you I don't know who Robin you're, is. You're lying about a lot of things. Um. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know what to I say. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know anything about the original Robin circle is. or any of those people. But who did you conversate with besides Emma? Um, Emma was in the beginning. Um, the other person, um, you know, I, these people aren't here that, um, like you see how this is, the comments are coming at me. I'm not going to put these people in that position, but, um, you know, especially when they can't defend themselves and I'm not going to, Did I, all, I, I won't all those speak people on it publicly, they but I can, I can, what did all those people change your stance? 
Um, well, how do you mean? Like Emma like, was do never. All of them think that Emma he's was never. Now? Do they all still support him? Um. Uh. No. None of these people support him. So the original crew, nobody supports him. Um. I will. Uh, what do you mean the original crew? Because you were part. I of the was never part of an original crew. Wade Wilds, like, right? It was like when I went. I uh, see. I was never part of that either. When I was going on the lives, there was um, Hannah, um, Hannah Rose that also got messages we we basically when we went on emma's live we had only spoken on what our conversations with him were like we never um were part of like the wade wife like thing that happened if it was during it was like at the tail end of when i went on my three lives with emma and on the third live uh, that's that's what i had like speaking about this girl says Mayflower says girl him. yes you were you uh, even had bunny message you over the drama between you and breadwinner that was, that so was even on. went on my first live uh yes, and were, were you, like just a I quick mean, question here messages. were you associated with marion you were or were you the sarah that was messaging with marion yes yes i was so marion so and when um, I say, now like, Marion's messaging. From, yeah. So you message back and forth with Marion. Do you know you know the things that Marion was responsible for? A lot of um, uh, a lot of. Um, I see. I didn't know she introduced one herself as Marilyn, um, and she, this was over messaging. Like I had blocked them after they. Both her and this girl, I don't know who that is. They uh, had messaged me in a group message before a established and all the time. I have no idea what you're saying. It sounds the internet's so bad. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why, um, but no, I, I had spoken to Marion, which Kristen had introduced this person as Marion, and then she had told me her name was Marilyn. And um, just everything that they were saying, it was just, it was odd um, from the beginning. And this was before they had, um, gotten this advocate group that that they were talking about this was like all the pre-stages of all of that and they had sent me this letter that i think is um it, it, one of the judges to like one of the judges or whatever it's like the long you know list of different points and it was uh from marion or whatever but this person had told me that they were marilyn i don't know and I have dates of all of this. So if these people want to say like, oh, I, I'm conversing with them now. I mean, it's funny that they know more about my life than I do um, because they're all wrong. Like this is all stuff that I have still on my phone. Like I've never deleted any of these messages. Well, definitely I want to talk to you offline about it because there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about offline, but um, yeah. I don't want to bring all the rest of the world into that conversation. Um, but I do thank you for coming up and like speaking your piece yeah. and saying what you have to say. And like I told you guys, I let everybody have a safe place up here. The comments were turned off when they started getting a little tacky. So thank you. Was that you, Chris, that did that? No, I don't think, no. <laughs> I don't know if it's Charlie or SJ, but thank you, whoever turned those off. Yeah. Um, cause I was trying to figure it out and I'm like, I don't know how to shut this off. Cause I don't, I don't want you to come in. That's why I didn't want to bring on Jess because I feel like the alley situation was already a techie because she had to get out what she had to say. And then you guys, you had to own, yeah, take ownership for that. And that was between you two. Um, but I didn't also want to bring a third, another person up here that was going to be creating, right. you know, that back and, and forth. I so I didn't, I didn't want you to feel ganged up and bullied on. That's not well, my intentions I mean, for being a content creator. You know, I want right. you to have, and, you know, you know honestly, you I, see. I'm not, um, uh, for the most part, like, I, I don't know if people just don't like the way I talk. I, maybe it's condescending. I don't know. I wanted to hear what Allie, what, how Allie felt and wanted to hear her side. And I didn't really, I really don't, 
it might sound mean. I really don't care how Jess feels about it because it's not really her feelings that I hurt. It was, um, you know, Allie's the one that was mostly affected by it, that I didn't, I appreciate you not bringing Jess on only for the simple fact one, I, I, what her opinion is, it, that's not what I was, you know, staying on and being quiet and letting her speak her piece over. It was me wanting to listen to Allie about it, not have some, somebody, you know, squawking at me that, you know, that's just echoing what Allie wanted to say. Like, yeah, that's what I was my whole point. I'm not bringing her on and I, I'm sorry, Jess, or not bringing anybody. I just wanted to keep it very, very, like it was already at a little chaotic. And I applaud you though for sitting back and just listening and just, that's a lot. That's a lot to hear that um, the, the truth skin, it, you're like, she's hating you with stuff and you remain silent. You let her get out her peace. And that's, that's re- like, I'll give you that respect too of saying, hey, you let her, you let her keep going. You let her get that out. And I feel like it had to come out of, and like, I feel like it's been bottled well, up. She and needed bothering to. Her. Yeah. So she needed to hear that. So thank you for at least giving her that opportunity and then owning. I'm hoping you don't ever do this going forward. And you actually like, you know, think about things or listen to people and, and get the whole full story before you do that. Just because it does create unnecessary drama. And you know, cause you've been there, you've been there and you, you've experienced yeah. it. Some people aren't as strong as you. Um, they aren't, and they're trying to, but it just keeps happening and they don't get a chance um, for to try to move on. So just please keep that in mind too, as you're going forward, like, um, you know what we have to give her we have to listen to all sides before we do that we, we i mean you could you could go and do that but it just labels you as that that person that's you know like it, who you are as a person is now being erased because of they're seeing just the drama aspect of it and seeing that hey this girl's just trying that's to hard. create some shit instead of expressing your opinions in a different way i'd probably say make a video next time at least it's on your own personal platform and it's your opinion um and nobody could twist what you say but you know, honestly, hopefully next time you come direct with that person, and if you can't, let me know. I'll get a hold of them for you. <laughs> yeah. But um. Yeah. yeah sorry, like and sorry about good. the connection. It's telling me it's bad again. But um, I'm gonna hop off here. Um, you guys yep. enjoy your night. I'll talk to you I on the inside. I have the a rest couple of my questions for you myself. Get ready for the weekend. So, yeah. Sarah, I'm gonna message you directly so I could ask you yeah. a couple things just right between us two without having to put the whole audience on there and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely tune in because you can hear <laughs> yeah. more about Hoots. Right. What I, what I should have done today. <laughs> yeah. You got it. All well, right. You guys take it easy. I hope you have a good rest you of your too. day. Thank, Thank you for you coming so up. Bye. Yikes. What a day. Oh, Lord. Wow. Never a dull moment. I can't wait to see 